Hey everyone, today we are going to highlight a client that has 4C hair. A lot of people write in my comment section, oh you only show women with good hair or you never even show love to the 4C girls and one, that's not true because I show all hair types not only on my YouTube but definitely on my Instagram. And two, let's try to get out of the habit of saying good hair because as long as hair is healthy, it is good. For those of you who don't know what 4C is, it's actually um like a system that somebody came up with to describe curl textures and 4c happens to be the tightest curl so watch me now as i highlight one of my clients with 4c hair she actually just got a big chop about seven months ago and i'm so impressed with how much her hair has grown let's go i started by washing her hair with first class to morocco shampoo and conditioner so her hair is very coarse um, and it's not Now I'm just taking a dime size amount of this satin shield serum and this is going to make sure that her hair is as smooth as possible during the blow dry and it's also going to protect her from the heat. Now no matter what hair type you are, you want to make sure that you handle your hair with care and love, especially during the blow dry process because the hair is weakest when it's wet. So you want to make sure that you're using a wide tooth comb and combing the hair out gently from ends to roots. I'm starting by stretching her hair. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with my Denman brush. I wanna get it as straight as possible with the blow dry because today she's getting a silk press. And I want it to get as straight as possible with the blow dry so I won't have to use as much heat during the pressing phase. I'm taking my Babyliss digital iron and I'm pressing her at 390 degrees. She hasn't had her ends trimmed since her big chop, so today we're going to go ahead and do that.
Now I'm going in with the warm temperature of 280, just enough to give her a feather. Then I'm just going to finish it off with the Glass Brilliant Shine. Taking my Denman Paddle Brush, I am now going to wrap her hair smoothly around her head and then I'm going to lay the saran wrap on. The saran wrap is going to insulate the oil from the serum and the oil from the shine and it's going to give her a more silk finish. She's going to go under the dryer for about 8 minutes on cold air. Now you're just going to comb her hair down with a wide tooth comb and style it however you want or however your client wants. <laughs> and then you're going to take a soft brush and just brush the edges down flat and you're done. I know a lot of you are probably wondering about her natural curl pattern. Don't worry about it. She is going to get it back. Um, and I also recommend that she comes every couple of months to make sure that her ends stay trimmed so her hair can be strong from root to tip. All products and styling tools can be found at DeeperThanHair.com. So I hope you love that as much as I did. Her hair came out absolutely beautiful like I knew it would. Make sure you like, subscribe, and drop some comments below of other things you want to see. Because sometimes I run out of ideas. Like sometimes I'm in the street and I'm like completely inspired by something I saw. Like I'm going to do that next on my YouTube. So I just want to know what you guys want to see so I can give it to you. Alright, I'll see you guys next time and thank you so much for watching. Bye.